guys, my name's here. So today we're playing some Okay. Monstrum. Okay. It didn't quit out. If you guys see it's like really on like so what I have to do is I have to go to graphics. I gotta turn the screen resolution down just a little bit. Maybe that would do better. Just so it plays smoothly. So I turn smoothly, pick up stuff smoothly. But at the full resolution, for some reason, it just doesn't feel like doing that. I turned it down to one more, actually, because it's a little bit of being an annoyance right now. Let's blow that. I think it's, yeah, it's this. I recorded this already. I recorded a monster video yesterday, but the audio is gone. 30 minute video, all the audio is gone. I think guys, we're probably, depending on how long this round is going to be, just play one round because I don't want to make a 30 minute video just because I'm running low on storage on my computer somehow. Don't know how, but I just am. It's weird, don't get me wrong. I shouldn't be out of storage, but for some reason it just keeps going down and down and down after it. And, that. and like... It's because I think of my editing software, which I use Filmora 9 for um, editing shorter stuff. Like, if I want to make a meme in this channel, if I want to make a quick vlog with some cool special effects, I'll probably use that. But any longer length video, I use this. iMovie. I use iMovie. Because that's simpler, it's way easier to navigate, and also it's free, unlike Filmora 9. I use the free version of Filmora 9. But there's a watermark in the entire, throughout the, like, the middle of the screen, like a, like a strip of the entire screen. So what I do is I screen record it, download it, and then, uh, download it to my computer, and I use the audio from that, and just time it correctly. But that's easier for smaller stuff. When I screen record, I have to watch the entire thing. So if I have a 30 minute video, I'd have to sit there for 30 minutes and let it do its thing. It's kind of annoying. But it's, it's required for, you know... Smaller videos. If I want to make it cool, you know. But, I know you guys are going to be like, this isn't Monster without a face cam. And tr trust me, I understand that. But, my face cam is a piece of junk. Like, what I do is I open up Photo Booth, screen record, and I just use one of the audios. Which is because they're both the exact same. Um, but my problem is, is with it. My face cam is for some reason, over time, it just gets delayed where I'll speak, but, like, a second later, my mouth will move. It's, like, weird. And it's not even my fault. It's just the fact that the video decides to do that on its own. I think it's just because I'm on a full-screen game, and that's why. Like, e either way, even if it wasn't full-screen, it'd be full-screen for you guys, but for me, it wouldn't. Like, that mon first monster video, it took me an hour to edit just because of the face cam problem. Literally, only because of the face cam problem it took me that long. Like, come on, go away, you stupid camera. I'm probably going to go the other side, I think. Let's just get camera there. Sorry that I'm playing on a Mac, trust me. I wish this was on GeForce Now so I could just run it on there. But it's not. So, I'm assuming if you're watching this on my channel, you probably have seen Monstrum before. But for all of you that are new to this channel, um, hit the subscribe button. And basically, the main goal of this game is to get off without dying. It's simple. But there, it's randomized. Like ever, It's an RNG-based game. It's like, you can get the stuff you want like right off the bat, one game. And the next game, you literally take 20 minutes just to find one of the things you need. For us, we spawn near a gas can, which is for the helicopter escape, which is one of the hardest. I think the sub being the hardest and the raft being the easiest. The raft is definitely the easiest because it's the quietest of all of them. The only thing that makes noise is putting the raft in the water. But everything else doing the raft-wise um, is decently kind of quiet. There's three different monsters you could get, and it... We're about to find out. Find out who it is. 
Well, I'm gonna put this in here. Go here. I don't care. I'll hopefully, it's something. Okay. Please don't let it be the brute because you know he's the easiest monster to deal with. This doesn't hurt him. I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna turn the volume up so you guys can hear this. He's not close. Basically, whoever it is is not anywhere near this place. Because that camera went off, and usually they just instantly be... Okay, it's not one, okay. They instantly, they usually instantly beeline it, as I call it, straight to wherever that noise is coming from. But they didn't. Which means they're probably near where I spawned. Which is, I spawned near the sob, I'm near the raft. And the helicopter being in the middle of those two. Now, two of them have footsteps. The, if you hear like a sploshy, wet footstep, if you're playing the game for yourself, it's the, as I call him, the Demogorgon, his name is actually the Hunter. But he has no face, he has his mouth opens up like the Demogorgon, so. It, it, to me, it's just the Demogorgon. If it's a giant guy with, it's a, it's a dude, a giant, a, a tall dude with one big giant arm. His name, that's name is the brute. That's his actual name. If you don't hear a, and those are like stomping footsteps, so you'll be able to tell. But if you don't hear your footsteps, but you hear the lights flicker and some like ghostly noise, I call him the wraith. It's the fiend. That's his actual name. But you know, if it's like a ghostly thing, a wraith sounds more correct than a freaking fiend. I don't know. It's just you know the game. So, there are spots on the map that are better than others. The shipment crates. If you end up finding the shipment crates, if it's the Demogorgon, as I call him, good luck. It's the worst spot when it's him, but a decent spot when it's the other two. Because there is stuff there, but the, one of the, everyone has a special ability. The Brute just being... I can tell you who it is. It's the Brute. The Brute doesn't have a special ability, but he's the vastest of all of them, I believe. You're faster than them, but he's he's able to keep a chase longer than the other two. Considering the Demogorgon crawls on all fours, and the brute, and I mean the Wraith doesn't have feet. This thing is useless. Alright guys, I'm gonna do something real quick. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna cut the camera here. Alright guys, we're back. I just had to go do something real quick. So, as I was saying, the brute has no special abilities. He just is the hardest to get away from. The Demogorgon, he can teleport. If you see these like your gooey, gooey like green eggs, don't go near him. And the Wraith, he shuts off power on the floor he's, he's on. Which is a dead giveaway to who it is, but it's also, if you're locked inside the room with the, with the like the power room door, the fuse room door, you're stuck there, felt you, friend. Because if you get stuck in there, he can break it open. It's harder than breaking you know, those doors open, but he'll break in. But listen. He's on this floor. Never mind. He's above me. Probably on deck six. Now you know what he looks like if you've never uh, seen one of my videos. Or even Monster for that matter. Not many people know the game, so. This is one of my favorite games, and it's only because I watch. If you've watched 8 Bit Ryan or even Markiplier, you probably know what it is, but if you haven't. The chances of you knowing it are highly unlikely because there's only like those are the only like really popular YouTubers that have played it. As if you watch Markiplier daily, you would have seen him like maybe last year in 2020, like or mid 2020, you would have seen him play it. But we are as I we are in the engine room right now, which is honestly one of the worst spots because for some godforsaken reason, every time I'm in here, he finds a way to get down here, whoever it is. They're all he's, so when I say he, it could be anyone. 
More like it's. But if you've been spotted once, if you, like if you spot him and he sees you and you get away from him after he sees you, he's always within your immediate vicinity for some reason. He just somehow has that feeling. But until he spots me, it's completely random where he goes. So, the chances of him coming in here are lower. But not impossible. I see, he's on deck 5 right now, so the chances of him coming down here are a lot lower, only because he's on deck 5. Besides, so, uh, whenever you hear the monster roar, uh, the Wraith doesn't, but the Demogorgon uh, and the, or the monster, or the pff, monster, the brute roar, that means they have a feeling you're on the floor that, if you hear, that you're on. Seriously, game? Really? Alright guys, this is kind of a dead end spot, so I'm going to sit here for a minute and with, on camera I'll sit here for a minute and just talk, but if nothing shows up, I'm going to cut the camera and then you'll either see me leaving or you'll see the monster be here, whatever happens, because I kind of just don't want to leave until I know the coast is going to be clear, because if I leave and he happens to be the floor above me, the only thing I can do is hide in one of these rooms, and the chances of that are really low when he's chasing me. So, for my 100 sub special, I'm going to be playing a game. My 100, there's two parts to my 100 sub special, because it's going to be a 100 sub special, obviously more important than the other ones. Um, because I hit triple digits. Uh, I'm going to be playing a special VR game, and it's actually a game that you probably all know, but I'm not telling you what it is yet. And also, I'm going to do a Q&A, so leave comments down below for what you want, uh, questions you want to ask me. Nothing too personal to go where you live. I'm not telling you where I live. I'll tell you what state I live in, but that's the farthest I go. But, basically, I want to do a Q&A because I made vlogs, but you know. And... Even at, and if you wanted me to do a Q&A, I can do a stream as well and just play games and ask, and you guys can ask me questions because that's the best time to ask me questions because I'm actually like playing while you guys talk to me. So yeah. All right, guys, I've been talking for like two to three minutes. He's not coming down here, I don't think. If you watch him come down here as soon as I leave, like actually like rigged. I haven't even heard his footsteps. It's easy to tell with him because of his footsteps. That door's shut. That door's shut, okay. Going down. I can hear him walking. Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. I'm not gonna lock it because then I'll just break the door down. Keep an eye out for an orange glow or some like particles coming off. Also, weirdly enough, he can't see me through this window. The Demogorgon was sitting right here when I was recording the other video. Right there. Right where I'm looking at. And he didn't... He didn't come... He came in here, but he didn't know where I was. Yep, there it is. glow isn't as obvious because I'm playing on the back, but that's Look, he's looking directly at me. He's not seeing me.
probably going to cut here until something interesting happens. So, be right back. Alright, so, alright, I'm going to meet you guys down in the shipment crate area. See you in a, probably like, probably take me about two or three minutes to get down there. See you guys in a minute. Alright guys, welcome to Shipment Crate Area. I did run here so that he could find me, but I can't guarantee it. If he does find me here, I'm screwed. This place is terrible. Also, that does not attract him, if you guys are wondering. That does not make noise enough enough noise to. Like, oh, what's that? Gas. Are you kidding me? Gas? I've already got two, and you only need two gas canisters to leave with a helicopter. Let's go to masks. This is obviously a okay, a pump. That's the raft. And considering how unlucky we're getting with like everything, guys, we might just be screwed. Considering the brute literally can tiptoe for some reason. Why did I say something? Why did I say something? If I see him there, I have to climb. Going up. I swear, if he's up on this floor. Oh man, I'm gonna lose it. I like how. Oh, I didn't hear him for like. Five to ten minutes, and all of a sudden, nope, no, nope, now he's here. Oh, I'm prob, I'm on deck four right now, which means I'm probably close to. Ah, oh, shoot. So there are a lot of parts of the map. There's the residential area, the uh, cargo area where I was at, and the area where the sub is at. But the where the where the the engine room and the cargo are, they col they collide. So I must have went to him, because there's no way he just all of a sudden knew I was there. Also, don't walk into steam, it's over. Okay. I don't know if he checked this room or if I... Oh, clippers, clippers, clippers. Uh, we're going definitely helicopter this time. Just to inform you guys, he's not spotted me this entire time. I can probably consider him where he's at. Yes, yes, yes. Considering I'm on deck five, he has not left the area except the fact that he went down a floor. I can probably go clip these. And this is the part of the helicopter that makes the most noise. Because metal rings throughout a ship. That's E. Or that's E. Yeah, that makes a lot of noise, and the monster's got, you know, like, superhuman ears, so. So after this, we're gonna hide, probably around, like, a corner. Oops. I need to clip these as well. Wasn't lucky. This is the fuel pump. This is what we put the, hel the fuel in the helicopter with. Here it is. He somehow didn't show his face, just to inform you, which means he's very low uh, on the floors, on the floor end of it. Give me the gas, give me the gas, give me the gas, give me the gas, give me the gas. Uh... No, you... No, come on, come on! Now, guys, all we need to do is find the keys. We've done everything with a helicopter that we can. Get in the locker, shut it. So, unless he finds me here, 
the keys are gonna be in the residential area. I swear if this game screws in the last second. So basically guys, now he has found us, so it's gonna be a lot harder to get out of here. The fact is though, once we do the helicopter, all we gotta do is once we unlock it, I'm gonna unlock it. I'm going to open it, and then start it up. And then I'm going to run around and hide in the locker while it starts up. question is, can we win this? Let's shut that just to make it look real. He's probably back up the helicopter, looking over there. Which I can hope for. But now we need to check all of Deck 5, all the Deck 6, and all the Deck 7, and a little bit on Deck 8 that we didn't check. The form, you guys, we did all of that, and then he showed up, which is good news. It's making it sound like he knows where we're at still. If I lock the door, it should shut him up. No, it didn't. It's a glass. That's useless. If you guys hear the music in the background, you probably do. It that means he still knows where we're at somehow. There! Finally I got out of his vicinity. Guys, now that I think about it, I think we've actually done as much as we can on deck five. Basically, the keys is all we need, and if we find a fuse, a door with a fuse with the keys in it. The problem is, if we find a door, a, f a locked door with. I'm dead. Yep, 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 yep. It's, it's just gonna happen, isn't it? I need, to, I need to be over here. Can you please like go away? All we need to do is unlock the helicopter door. If he finds us, I'm just gonna be pissed. This game is literally dog water. Well, guys, that was Monstrum. Once again, we have been killed by a monster. We didn't escape this time. We've only escaped once on this channel. But we will escape again. Of course, this game is easy enough to uh, give us not what we need. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, of course, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. Hit that little bell to know all the new videos. And uh, comment down below what you want next. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. See you in another game.